Let's admit, Fortnite is pretty much dead, but Fortnite definitely can learn from its dead cousin, PUBG. And no, I don't mean by releasing a new map to the game and then the game just completely dies like Fortnite already did. <laughs> but even with PUBG dying due to the game being slower than my cousin Tommy with 47 chromosomes, PUBG had something that not a lot of games did. Proximity voice chat. That's a bullshit right there. There's like 50 of the mother... <laughs> Pretty much proximity voice chat in its earliest form was in Call of Duty after you kill somebody you would hear the person you killed for a few seconds but not a lot of games actually had true proximity voice chat. Games that had true proximity voice chat were like H1Z1 and PUBG and I don't remember any other games. But months after PUBG died there were still hundreds of videos being uploaded to YouTube of proximity voice chat clips and they were getting millions of views. And without proximity voice chat in these games, there wouldn't be legends like Banana Man, Wadu Heck, or any other of the funniest stream snipers Shroud had or any big PUBG streamer had. It really added to those very serious games, making it so much more cool and entertaining. But not only that, bringing PVC to Fortnite would bring much needed content to the game. Single-handedly, proximity chat would make Fortnite such a replacement playable game again which right now it's not in an exactly replayable state i never get on thinking my day that oh man i'm so excited to get home and play fortnite that's just not a thing that happens to me anymore and i can definitely say the same for tons of other people the game isn't fun for good players or bad players and take it from me all the kids from my school that i played with they're horrible and none of them want to play the game and it's not just because they're bad it's because because the game isn't interesting or fun anymore. And just as proof that proximity voice chat would definitely make Fortnite a more enjoyable game, I mean, I don't have to say anything. All I have to do is show you the clips and you could see how funny it is. Fucking cheater, kid, enjoy your bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! If proximity chat was introduced to the game, there would be a reason for me to play solos. Like right now, there's zero reason for me to play a solo match at all, besides grinding out solo wins, getting a thou to a thousand solo wins. But guess what? I don't care about that. But if proximity voice chat was added to the game, damn, I would be so excited to play solos. And I can't even imagine how fun it would be that if you had a whole squad and you like shit on a whole squad, another squad. <laughs> all of you just screaming in the mic back and forth at each other and it's situations like that that make these games so freaking fun and it's something that could potentially save fortnite out of the horrible what's an analogy this literal shithole fortnite's dug for itself the last like six months okay did that make sense i'm not really sure now something you may say to this is that they would never bring proximity chat to the game due to there being such a young player base in the game so why would they add proximity chat when there will be other people that will say bad things and they don't want the other ch children to hear that which by the way completely valid point but just close your ears if you don't want to hear it for real though a way to get around this is just to turn off proximity voice chat by default and then people can turn it on and maybe just not even have proximity chat on consoles this would definitely fix it because i've never in a random squad or random duo ever met a kid under the age of 16 like no i've never m met immature little i mean every fortnite player is pretty immature but i've never like played with an actual immature kid it would just be so funny and there's definitely gonna be a few people who always ruin stuff like that like think about it there's a few people that team and ruin games for some people but it's not something that you usually see or happens often in the clip that i have in my mind right now is that clip where ninja thought he was playing with drake <laughs> but the guy just started screaming the n-word in the mic that that crap was so funny
there you go, dude. But definitely in my eyes, I see proximity voice chat as a potential savior for Fortnite rather than something that could take Fortnite down. Yeah, there will be a few people who wouldn't be able to play Fortnite anymore, you know, if they did introduce it on console too. But in the long run, it'll keep so many more players playing than losing a few people that buy the battle pass once a season and i'm just saying if fortnite was in a good state again i would probably be spending money on fortnite again but this is exactly why i haven't spent money on v bucks in like the last year by the way proximity voice chat would just be so hilarious in competitive fortnite but anyways guys i really hope you did enjoy the video and if you did enjoy it it would mean a lot if you left a like and a comment because you know what youtube's pretty rough in january everything's down so it definitely helps a lot and if you do enjoy my content you know subscribing really helps out because you'll be able to see my content more anyways guys thank you so much i love you all and peace Fingers on my side.